Hey there everybody, my name's Dark Insidus, and today I'm going to be doing a short walkthrough with weapons from the game DayZ. There have been a lot of new players in game asking questions lately, so I decided to put out a video to run through some of the basics. If you have played the game for a while already and feel comfortable with the weapons, then feel free to just stick around for the kills. I hope you all enjoy. Someone just came up behind this building. We're using the Lee Enfield, it's a bolt action rifle. See if we can't get our first kill. These are typically two shot kills. If you hit them in torso. Oh, alright, there's the message. Shooting zombies. I just. Oh, you poor guy. Okay, just spawned into this server with an M4. It's a light assault rifle. Hopefully we can catch some kills. This is a PvP server, so the vehicles have uh, ammo and uh, weapons in them. Unless other players have come along and taken them. Same with most guns, just hold down right click to zoom, press right click to go to scope. Also pressing F will change your fire mode from semi to automatic. Oh. Well, that didn't take long. Let's see if we can't take this guy out. Uh, where did you go, man? Where'd you go? Oop. Don't try to get away. You stupid scope. Hey. There are some light weapons like this AKM that you can zero. Uh, also, it, it has a higher damage than uh, most other light assault rifles. Here, I want to show you a G36. Uh, this one can use both G36 mags and 30 round stan eggs, which are much more common. To reload a different type of mag, uh, just use the scroll wheel and you'll be able to select the opposite type of magazine. Pressing R for reload will reload the exact same kind of clip. It won't switch between clip types, so you have to watch out for that. Other weapons uh, do also have this feature. Currently using the PK heavy assault rifle. I prefer to use it in semi-automatic as opposed to automatic to keep the accuracy. I think I got him. It's basically an AK crossed with a Mosin. So on this gun you can use the zeroing feature. For weapons that have this just press page up or page down to change the default range. Let's go ahead and check the semi-automatic accuracy. It wobbles around, but certainly a lot less than the full auto. Press F again to change that. After a couple seconds, you'll see it does settle down to just straight up recoil. Keep that in mind that the recoil will just go straight up after the first few seconds. When you're trying to take down a helicopter, you can get a lot more rounds in a lot more accurately using the full auto version once it settles to straight up recoil. Here comes our first taker. Slow down, buddy. Get a 
Got him. It's all good. In case you are really new to the game, scroll wheel will interact with most objects around you. Uh, blood bags are really important in a self blood bag server. Uh, you can also study the body to learn the name of the person you killed if you didn't catch it as you were shooting at him. We're about to see why I use semi-automatic, hopefully. Oh, yes! Hey, man. Come here. So this guy, Victor, I hesitated before shooting him because he claimed he was friendly, but I remember him from the yellow CZ I shot at a few minutes ago. Very much doubt he came all this way back here to be friendly, although I do encourage other players to get to know each other and form fire teams. It's the best way to really survive. At this point I'm going to start up the sniper portion of the video. If you go to your map and shift left click on some place around you, this is going to be the fire station, then you can get an accurate ranging on um, the distance. So put the tip of your crosshair at the edge of the top of a tall building to learn the bullet drop of the weapon that you have. This is the M4 ACOG. It's, uh, Pretty decent weapon, it's semi-automatic, which is really awesome because you can keep it out for short range fights also. But you still have the accuracy you need to make the long range shots, which are of course the reason you would have a sniper in the first place. So at 330-ish meters to that fire station, we're looking at the tip of the red line underneath the arrow for this gun. Well, well, well. Action already. Come on out and play, buddy. So repeating fire with the semi-automatic is going to decrease accuracy, but if you've got it, you might as well use it. He's probably bandaging for his escape now. I very much doubt he knows where I am at the moment. Uh, you will notice this gun does not have zeroing. There we go. If you don't get a kill message, remember to put a few extra rounds into whoever it is you're shooting at just to make sure they're dead. Not all servers even have death notifications to let you know you've killed someone, so just be very careful not to mistake someone with a broken leg or someone who's gone prone as uh, someone who's actually out of commission. At this point of the video, I request that you practice your aim on the like and subscribe buttons, and I hope you enjoyed.